Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to show you how to build a custom footer. Now Divi is standard. Comes with this little footer at the bottom of the page here. It's okay, you can customize it a little bit, but I want to put my own there. So let's get started. To do this today, we need to go to the dashboard, down to Divi, down to theme builder. This is a feature they introduced last year and it's absolutely fantastic. And as you can see, there's a little box here to add global header, global body, global footer. And we'll do some more custom pages as we progress. So let's hit the add global footer button right there. Build a global footer. I'm going to go ahead and build from scratch. I'm going to have, I think I'm going to have three columns. So I might like to have a logo on the left, some info in the middle, and something on the right here. Perhaps some social media. Before I put anything in there, I want this to stretch full width. I want it to be the full width of the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and make this row full width. I'm going to go into the road, a little cog right there. I'm going to go over to design, sizing. I'm going to pull the width up to 100%. I'm going to copy this, control C, and paste it in the max width below. If you prefer, you can just type in 100%. And as you can see, these are spread out a little bit more now. Great. Next thing I want to do is I want to give this a fairly dark background. So I'm going to actually put that in the section. Blue tab for a section, green for a row, and dark tab for a module. So I'm going to go into the section, give it a background color, or perhaps even a background gradient. You've got color, gradient, image, or video. Okay, I want mine fairly dark, so I'm going to hit the color picker there and get a pretty dark one right at the top there. And for the bottom one, I'm actually going to make it black. So it looks pretty black, but it's actually graduated a little bit down there. Everything will stand out nicely against that. Now, I don't want it as wide as that, and I'll adjust that in a moment. So let's actually build our what we want to put on here. And of course, you can go to town. You can put anything you want in the footer. I'm going to keep this fairly quick today. So right here, I think I might like to put my logo in. So I'll do that with an image. Divi comes as standard with all these modules. Dark blue ones there are for a different plugin that I use called Divi Supreme Modules. It's absolutely awesome. And if you've got WooCommerce installed, Divi will, will give you uh, another 12 of these light gray modules to help sell your products. So I want an image right there. And I'm gonna select my image. Now my blue logo that I've got going on on the top is not going to work, so I've got a white one over here that should work fine. Okay, it's in there, it's way too big. Let's link it to the top of the page. I'm simply going to put a hashtag right there. That'll take it straight to the top of the page. And I want to shrink it down quite a lot. So let's go to our design. I'm going to go to sizing. And I'm going to pull it down until it's the sort of size that I want it. Something like that. I want to align it in the middle of the module. That way when people look at it on mobiles, it will be in the middle of the screen also. Great. So we've got that first element. Middle. I'm just going to put a bit of copyright in there. So I'll go down grab a text module. And let's put in a copyright. So the copyright symbol is what they call an alt code. So you hold down the alt, co alt button and type in 0169 and you've got a copyright symbol right there. There's a lot of, lot of twos there. whatever you want to put in for yours. And of course, design wise, 
this text I want it in the middle and I want it to be light in color Let's put it in the middle just roll down a bit there it is in the middle color wise we can either make it white or just call it light now I need to I want to push it down just a little bit so it's more in line with our logo there. Again, we need to do that with a bit of spacing. And let's try a bit of padding on the top. I think 50 may be too much. Yeah. Let's try 20. That looks about right. That looks about right. Okay, great. What do we, what do we want to put on our right hand side? How about some social media links? So again, let's roll down, find some social media links. There we go, social media. And let's simply add the ones we want. We've got Facebook, Twitter. As you can see, by default, it puts in the color of the actual social media themselves that they use. And they've got a lot to choose from here. YouTube, obviously. LinkedIn. Oops. Add a new one. YouTube. And perhaps Instagram on the end. A lot of people use that. As you can see, it puts it in the default color. But if you want to, you can customize them how you want. You can use the, your logo colors and have them all the same. Whatever you want to do. And of course, I haven't done it because there's no point as this is not a, a live site. But once you've got your social medias in there, obviously you need to put the link to your social media account so they can visit your page on all of these. And that's in content link. And when you're happy, save. Same with all the others. Content link. Great. And again, we need to push this down a little bit. So let's go over to our design tab in the main module and we'll push it down a little bit. Some spacing. I'll try 20 pixels on the top. Maybe a little too low. What about 15? Yeah, I think that's about right. Great. So there's our footer very simple footer like I say you can add all kind of modules to this you can have links you can have a huge footer contact forms whatever you want I'm keeping this simple today okay and it's a little too wide so I want to take the padding away from our section we can either go into the section itself and go into spacing and manually do it or you can just simply hover over until that little arrow appears left click pull it up and do the same with this bottom line right there Okay, so I'm fairly happy with that. Let's save our changes. When they're saved, X out. Make sure we've got everything saved here. Now let's go back to our little page here. When I refresh, that little generic footer should disappear and we should have our custom one in its place. So let's refresh. And there's our little custom footer. Like I say, mine's very generic looking. You can go to town on yours and make it what, what you want to make it. But that's how to set up a global footer with a new Divi theme. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.